Welcome everyone. The question is the stress versus strain graphs for the wires of two materials A and B are shown in the figure. The stress is plotted along the y-axis and the strain is plotted along the x-axis. And from the graph it is observed that, that the, for the material A we got a straight line and it makes an angle 60 degree with the strain axis. And for the material B it is again a straight line but the slope is different, it makes an angle 30 degree with the strain axis. If Ye and Yb are the Young modulus of the A and B respectively, then option A is Yb equal to 2Ya, Ya equal to Yb, Yb equal to 3Ya and Ya equal to 3Yb. So these are the four options given and one thing I need to say, that the coefficient of elasticity in case of the longitudinal stress and the longitudinal strain is called the Young modulus. It is obviously dependent on the material. If the material is changed, if you have taken the identical arrangement, if you have given the same type of deforming proofs, but if the material is changed, then the stress developed within that and the strain developed within it is different. And here it is the same type of thing. It is told here, but depending on the material A and B, the Young modulus is different. So let us try to understand what is Young modulus. All of you know the Young modulus like this. This Young modulus is equal to longitudinal stress divided by the longitudinal strain. It has a stress that is plotted along the y-axis. It is a longitudinal stress. And the strain that is plotted along the x-axis, that is a longitudinal strain, we can say. So, it is simply the stress by, restrain, stress by strain ratio in case of the deforming force if it is applied perpendicular to that of its surface. Okay? And it is extended longitudinally. So, it is a property of the material. So, from this graph, we can see it is determined by the slope of stress versus strain. A slope of the strain versus strain graph. That is the Ion modulus. Okay? Because if you take the slope, you are taking the ratio of the stress and strain. That is the stress by strain. It can be also calculated mathematically the tangent of the angle of the angle made by the plotting. Here it is a straight line with the strain axis with the strain axis or the variable which is just put on this x-axis this is the thing so it becomes simply you can say tan theta for the material a this is theta a and theta a equal to 30 degree for the material b it is theta b it is equal to 60 degree so, if I want to find it, what is the Young modulus for the material A? It is simply tan theta A. It is equal to tan 30 degree. And the value of the tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. And it is YB equal to tan theta B. It is tan I am wrong here. Theta B is Theta B is 30 degree. Theta A is 60 degree. Okay. So I have to put 60 degree here. And so it becomes a root 3. And tan theta B it is 30 degree here. So it becomes a 1 by root 3. Okay. So this is equal to theta A. And this is equal to theta b. So if I just take the ratio of ya and yb, let us check it out what it will be ya divided by yb. So it will be root 3 
divided by 1 by root 3. So this will become root 3 multiplied by root 3 equal to 3. So ye equal to 3 into yb. So you can see the option D is correct. That is the Young modulus of the material A is 3 times that of the Young modulus of the material B. Option D is correct. Thank you all.